Fresh, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 7.30 a.m. Good morning, Stella. There's their new wheatgrass. Wow, Stella just walked away. She snubbed her nose at it. But Simba loves it. Good morning, Boo. How are you? Are you being a good boy? Would you like to eat some food? Give me five minutes and I'll give you some food, okay? Five minutes. Boo, that wasn't five minutes. That was like one minute. Okay, so do one minute times five. That means five times as long, okay? So just chill out. I'll get you your food and I'll let you out of your room. But first you have to chill out. Everyone gets their turn, okay? It's not your turn yet. You have to wait your turn. Who's eating? Are you eating? Splash? Duh. Zumba. And here we have the Boo Plate Special. This is what he's getting for breakfast. Good morning, Boo. Hello, Boo. Did you have a nice sleep? Did you sleep well? You had a new bed to sleep on. Boo has this lovely new day bed to sleep on. He slept on it all night. I checked the security camera a few times. Each time he was sleeping on it, it's softer than the love seat. And um, it's longer than the love seat, so he can spread out if he wants to. He wants me to pet him this morning. So this little day bed is longer than the love seat, but it is more narrow than the love seat. So here on the floor, it frees up a lot of space for Boo to have uh, for playing in the room. This day bed is a folding travel bed. And um, I like the fact that it's lightweight. I like the size of it. It is a small bed. Um, it's not terribly large. I hate furniture that is like super large. One of the reasons why I like uh, furniture, like mid-century modern furniture from the 50s and 60s is because of the scale of it. When I had an apartment in Manhattan, one of the most important things was scale of the furniture because all the apartments in Manhattan are very small. So you can't get typical oversized suburban furniture and expect it to fit. The other thing I like about uh, this day bed is that uh, the bottom of it is like one giant cat tunnel. Uh, Boo can go underneath there and hang out and the entire bottom is just like empty for him. It's all free space for him underneath there. So he has even more space uh, to hide under this than he had under the love seat. 
It is 10 a.m. and it's raining and it's really cold out. It is about 36 degrees. I just hope it stays above freezing so we don't get snow. And I was just going to bring Hijox some wet food and put it in the feeder. But I see him, he's sitting there eating dry food. So I am going to let him eat his dry food, not interrupt him, and then check back in a few minutes and see uh, if I could put the wet food out then. It looks like maybe he's turning around. Oh yeah, now he's looking in the bowls. Okay, so if he, if he walks away from the table, there he goes. I'm going to put his food out. Hydrox wants some food! Maybe he's going to wait there. See the little dry spot near the door? There's like a little dry area near the door. Okay, I'm going to go out. I'm going to turn the camera off because it is raining. I don't want it to get wet. Okay, so there's the food. I'm giving him this uh, Pride by Instinct. It's the chicken. Um, it's probably two-thirds of a can uh, along with some fresh water. I rinsed out the food bowl. So I just push that under the table. And there's Hydrox, look. He's walking towards me. Hydrox is walking towards me as I put the food under here. There's still a little bit of food in the bowl and uh, that's good because I increased the amount of food that that is dispensing. It's now dispensing 5 eighths of a cup. Hello Hydrox, how are you today? I'm really close to him right now. I'm only like four or five feet away and he's just sitting there like, like he's friendly. So I'm not gonna keep him out in the rain, I'm gonna go inside. And there he goes. I just came inside. The minute I shut the door, he goes and eats the food. Can you guys see the steam coming up off of that water? It's only warm water, but that's how cold it is out. Let's hope it doesn't freeze. This is one of the new arches. This is the Pet Stages Scratch and Groom. Dual purpose platform for scratching and grooming. It says scratch for healthy nails. Full grooming brushes removable. Brush naturally removes excess hair while providing soothing massage. Flat corrugate surface, perfect for scratching. Sturdy low profile base also provides resting spot. Bring the outdoors inside. So I just put that one together, and here's Boo stretching because he's excited. And today, I am going to put both of these together, and I'm going to put them in Boo's room. So he'll have four arches, and I'm just really curious to see uh, how he reacts to having four arches. He loves his two arches. What's going to happen when he has four arches? And um, then what I want to do uh, after I put all four in Boo's room is then take these two out and give these to the other cats or maybe leave one in this room and then put one downstairs. My right, boat. Here are both of the arches put together. I'm gonna to put them in Boo's room. Simba's sleeping on top of the new cat tower. He looks so comfortable. And there's Stella, she's sleeping on top of the ottoman. She's only pretending to sleep right now. Hello, Stella. Being a good girl, Stella? Stella's so fluffy. Look how fluffy she is.
Okay, this is the platter from breakfast. I had given them three tablespoons of the dry food before I left earlier, and um, they left some of it, so that's good. It is 5.08 p.m., and Hydrox is outside eating his food. I just put some food out for him. I forgot to bring my camera out, but he was hanging out on the patio waiting for his food, and then he moved to the other side of the patio when I gave him his food, and then I came back inside and he was um, under the table eating his food. I know it's hard to see because it's so dark. Hello, Boo. Hello. How are you, Boo? You good? Yeah? Oh, you gonna scratch the rug? You wanna eat some dinner? Would you like to eat your food? Oh, you want dinner? No food? Dinner? Come on, let's eat. Yeah, over here in your room. You can eat in your room. Do you like your new arches? Who did you rub on your new arches today? What did you do today? Did you sleep? Looks like you slept on your new day bed. Did you sleep on your day bed? That's why you have a day bed, so you could take naps, right? Cat naps. Thank you.